Hello and welcome to my channel. It's been a year since I uploaded my very first video here on YouTube, so to celebrate I thought I'd show 10 of my favourite videos, oldest to newest, and the journey of my channel, along with 10 facts about me. Links to the full videos can be found in the description box down below. The video that you're looking at now is the first video I ever uploaded on the 30th of September 2016. It's so weird seeing my old setup and the way I used to work too, and this speed paint was completed in watercolour and coloured pencil, and was one of my early attempts at pet portraiture and a practice piece for future commissions. So let's start off with a basic introduction, who am I? And my name is Claudia, I'm currently 22 years old, I live in northern Norway with my lovely boyfriend of 6 years, but if you hadn't guessed by my accent I grew up in South East England and I moved to Norway to live with him. This second video is the time-lapse of my ballpoint pen Jaguar, and this is still probably one of my favourite pieces I've ever completed, because it was such a challenge, but it was really well worth the effort, I think. I experimented a lot with ballpoint pen to create realistic full colour pieces, so I made a mini-series on how to use this medium. On to the next question. I get asked a lot if I do art full-time, or if I do anything else, like work or study. Right now I'm studying for a degree in nursing, and I do art in my spare time, and a lot of my time goes towards um, pet portrait commissions, which I absolutely love doing, and I also try and make and upload an art video here every weekend, as well as drawing every day. This next piece is a demonstration I did of my review on Derwent drawing pencils, which is one of my favourite and most inspiring art supplies of all time and the video I made to review them took off and has far more views than I ever expected. Another question I get asked a lot is how long I've been doing art. I've been creating and doodling for as long as I can remember, and I was lucky enough to grow up in a household where I had access to art supplies and lots of encouragement, as my mum dabbles in the creative fields herself. But it was only around the beginning of 2016 when I decided I'd take art more seriously and try to draw every day, and before then art was just an occasional hobby and now it's a lifestyle. Up next is a clip from my first commission on tined paper. This piece was quite the turning point for my pet portrait commissions and has set the standard for how I currently work. On a similar note to the previous question, I often get asked if I'm self-taught or if I went to art school. Now I would consider myself self-taught, um, I've learned a lot more in the last two years than I did before then, with help of YouTube videos and dedicated practice. I took an art GCSE when I was 14 to 15 years of age, and I also participated in a few art clubs just for fun, but I wouldn't say that these have shaped the way I draw today. This next drawing is a time-lapse of a Draw This Again challenge, and similar to the previous drawing is another cat in colour pencil on toned paper. The challenge was really eye-opening to see how my process and ability had changed in a year. So my next question is why do I make YouTube videos? The initial reason was because I wanted to document my process and progress and make speed paints. I love the idea of watching a piece that takes hours grow in just a few moments. And the second reason that developed after a few months of uploading is that I love sharing the things I've learned and communicating with other arty people. I love reviewing products as well, the analytical side of me really comes out to play then, but tutorials and advice videos are also really fun to make, because I love to help and inspire when I can. This is another time-lapse taken from a review video I made on the Derwent Artist black and white pencils. I love the way the video and artwork turned out, and I really should give Monochrome another go shortly. So, do I have any interests other than art? Art and video making takes up a lot of my free time, so I don't have much time for other regular hobbies. However, I am interested in science, so I like to watch lots of sciencey documentaries whilst drawing. On a similar note, I also like to watch Let's Plays whilst drawing, as I used to play quite a lot before I got back into art. Pokemon, Zelda and Guild Wars 1 and 2 were my favourites. 
And of course, I also really love nature and animals, if you hadn't guessed by my usual subject matter, so I like to be out and about amongst nature sometimes. This next piece is a self-portrait I made to use as a channel and social media avatar for myself. It was quite the challenge as I'm used to animal portraits, not people portraits, but I'm really happy with the result. I used some of my favourite mediums for this one, coloured pencil, marker and watercolour. Speaking of which, what's my favourite medium? So if I could only choose one medium to ever work with again, it would probably be coloured pencils and for me, toned paper is also a must have. I really do love lots of other mediums though, but I love the control and versatility of coloured pencils. I like how I can achieve oil painting type effects with them, as well as highly detailed and precise outcomes too. Next up, this is the process of one of the pieces I completed for my cheap art supply challenge, where I used inexpensive acrylic paints to try to complete something that I'd be proud of. Occasionally, I like to switch my pencil for a brush, push myself outside of my comfort zone and try something entirely different. I find challenges very eye-opening and I love to bring you guys along for the ride. Getting a bit deep with this next question, why do I draw? Well, there are so many reasons, but I really enjoy the process and watching something appear on paper, and improvement is something that strongly motivates me to continue and practice. It's very rewarding to develop a skill, and can open so many opportunities too. When I chose to take drawing seriously by making it a daily activity, I did so because I realised I was sinking too many hours into video games without anything to show for it in the real world. I figured that it would be far more beneficial to spend that time developing a skill, something that I enjoyed and perhaps others could too. It also had a huge impact on my self-esteem and has been incredibly therapeutic. This ninth piece shows one of my most recent time lapses, where I use pastel matte paper for the first time. I love trying out new things and working out how I can improve. So my next question is, what am I inspired by? I'm always inspired by nature and colour, and I love contrast and abstract shapes and bringing animals to life on paper. Some artists here on YouTube that inspire me are Bouquet, Lacri Fine Art and Marion Tubiana, and I'll leave links to their channels in the description box down below. Lacri inspires me with her approach and mindset, whereas Bouquet and Marion Tubiana both inspire the way I shape my outcome. I love the way that they use colours and the softness that they achieve. And this last clip is the video uploaded almost exactly a year after the first. In this video, I demonstrate how to draw metal and glass realistically, and I love drawing all the high contrasts and abstract shapes in these perfume bottles. This last question will be a bit of a letter to my future self. Where do you see yourself this time next year? I'd hope that it would be much of the same, another video for every week, and maybe another one or two thousand subscribers. I hope to have improved with my art too, and perhaps have a new mic and better lighting and camera setup, and possibly begin to show my face in my videos. And I also hope to be more confident with my speaking, so that I don't have to rely as heavily on a script. So that summarises this video, I hope you found it interesting, hit that thumbs up button if you did, and if you'd like to see more, I'll leave the links to each of the individual videos in the description box. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section down below. I'll answer you as soon as I can, and if you have any suggestions for future questions to ask in Q&A videos, maybe I'll add it to a list. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to keep up to date with my latest art tutorials, challenges, reviews and art advice videos. Thank you very much for watching, hope you have a lovely week, and I'll see you in the next video!